Hey, so let's talk about uh, professional challenges and specifically how to uncover them in uh, meetings that you have. Because the last thing that I do want you to do is to basically go through the front door, you know, and what I mean with that is there's a gap in the conversation or an opportunity for you to bring professional challenges up and what you're asking is, so, Michael, what are your professional challenges? Because if you ask that, you usually don't end up where you want to end up. Why? Because people are put on guard. It's almost like you're storming through the front door. And the second thing is that people... um will give you shallow answers. They don't give you the real thing. They're probably going to put on a performance to give you the answer that they think you would expect most, right? So more skillful of our ways to basically slowly lead into the conversation and try to find the way in through the back door, if you will, right? <clears throat> and so there are so many ways in which you can do that, either creative or slowly or whatever basically floats the boat. And ultimately, this is guaranteed to be something you will not be thinking about at all in three months or six months if you practice this in every meeting. Because eventually, getting to this professional challenge, just getting to this topic will be completely um, automatic. It will be it will be second nature to you, right? So <clears throat> let's talk about a few tactics. Um, one is, is, is to just simply lead slowly but surely into, into the topic. So what are you working on these days? It's a very nice, um, I say theme opening question. It doesn't really go towards professional challenges yet, but it sort of like directs the conversation in the right direction. Then they share what they're working on. And then you say, so on those things, um, you know, what is one of those things that you have to really get done well? Or where do you think you uh, wish you'd know more about? Or um, what um, what of those topics is, is is a concern of yours in terms of your ability to um, to um, do it right? So all of those questions are great questions that basically lead through the back door to probably more in depth, you know, answers, more more high quality answers. All right, but um. You can also go the creative route, right? The creative route is reading, I mean, sorry, is, is asking questions that are, um, that are just, just, just more intriguing for people to answer. Like, what do you love most about what you do? It's a great another opening. And then you can go towards professional challenges. Or um, let's say, hey, and this is maybe again later in the conversation, if you do work with a coach or you would work with a coach, you know, um, in what area would you want him to help you most? Um, you know, like, like, I love what you do. I love the role. At one point in my career, I was wondering about uh, that role in becoming a, let's say, VP of product or whatever it is, who you're talking to. What do you perceive as one of the biggest challenges, uh, challenging aspects of your role? They will answer that. And then you can move from there into the, into the challenges they face today, such as, uh, okay, is that still, an, you know, is that still, you know, a challenge you grapple today? What are you trying to solve or get better at, right? Um, if you had um, four extra hours to learn something every every week, what would you invest that into? It's another question. Um, one of the most powerful ones, and it's a very direct one, you can basically open up with that and uh, see, see what they say. It is uh, what still needs to happen or what do you need to achieve or what do you need to solve um, this quarter to make um, make this quarter a success, you know, right? If 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 you're at the um, later part of the year, you can just say, hey, what uh, you know, what do you need to do still um, to make this year a success? Um, hey, if you could get one thing striked off your list or or done, you know, or accomplished off your list just by snapping your finger, what would that be? You know, there's another very um, very good um, question to ask. And I would say another good lead in question to professionals and hey, if you if you um, could be perceived as an expert in one thing in one area, what would that be? Right? Um, if you talk about the role, just to go back to that one, you can also simply ask, um, ask like, hey, you know, what what are the things you enjoy most about that role? Um, um, and so on and so forth. So all of those questions really should make it very easy for you to get into a conversation around their professional challenges. And here's the one thing, 
why this is so absolute powerful. Number one, well, it's actually two things, right? Number one, it will empower you to maintain a conversation with these people around these topics. Once you know those things, you can actually also try to be valuable. You can leverage the vast resources of your network and your knowledge to, to, to help out with any professional challenges that you, you face. And by the way, one thing that you'll notice is the professional challenges that you hear about, if you focus on the right kind of people, they will repeat themselves. They're going to be categorizable into five themes or something. And so you'll be very good. You'll become very good at helping it. The, uh, the other part, the second part that I absolutely love is that one big part of relationship management and, and, and delivering good experiences is to be interesting to people, right? That's, you know, that's one of the core anchors of how we are successful in getting people to, you know, um, accept us as a valuable resource in the network. And the beautiful thing is by you asking about their situation, their challenges, you are actually, in fact, becoming interesting to them. It's counterintuitive, I get it, but that's how it works, right? because you are interesting because you're delivering an interesting experience to them, an experience about talking about their situation. And in some way or the other, you are acting as a sounding board to them. And that is typically, and I'm sure you've had that situation before, very valuable, right? So that's why I think going after professional challenges is so powerful and it should just become second nature to you. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.